Culture matters because it really embodies the values of uh, any organization. That they're positive values that people really take in and allows them to engage more. We know from research that engaged employees really do positive things. I think it matters because it shows where the college wants us to head and kind of gives a roadmap for how we can get there. You can really feel the culture of an organization when you walk into work each day and you want work to be a place you really want to come. To have a common practice and a way that everybody does something is very important. It's important for us to be a team. Um, for us to be at a common understanding about what we're doing. That culture of supporting people and putting them first and helping them is, is paramount to getting you through the degree that you want. In the KJ's Easy Newsroom, culture really matters because it's knowing that the person next to you has your back, that you're all pulling for the same goal and you're all on the same page. It is the one thing that makes us family and we become a family through that and we're defined by that even in the diversity that we have throughout all of our programs. It defines who we are and how we carry out our mission. We reinvent the learning experience to change lives. Now that's powerful stuff. Well, since 1978, Rio Salado College has always uh, reinvented the learning experience to, to change lives. And that's through innovation, the way we've always done things differently because we've always listened to the voice of the student. In a news environment, if you don't respond to your community, you're not doing your job and you're not responding to what your listeners and frankly your customers really want from you. They want you as a news organization to be, to represent what's happening around them, to help tell the stories that are happening not only in their own backyard, but in the state of Arizona and around the world. And so when we reach out to our listeners to find out what it is they care about, you know, it's incumbent upon us to respond to that and really try to figure out what it is they want to know and tell them these stories that they want to hear. Rio Slot offers a number of customized programs and, and courses, and most recently we've been able to create two of our developmental English classes in an adaptive learning format thanks to a grant from the Gates Foundation. And we just completed the first pilot of courses offered in this format, and so far the initial data and feedback from the students has been very positive, so we're very excited. One way I'm able to help contribute to the data analytics process is in working with the instructor evaluations. And I help to process the student feedback data so that my manager and I can give the faculty chairs reports on each instructor. This helps the faculty chairs make informed decisions um, when evaluating their adjunct faculty, making the best decisions uh, to help our students succeed through quality instruction. When I think of institutional accountability, I think of people. Sometimes we like to imagine that there is an institution out there that's separate from the people that make it. And really, an institution is just the people that make it up. And so when we talk about accountability, it's really personal accountability. And what does every individual bring to the workplace every day? And it's that collective story that we can all tell together as to how we're accountable as an institution. My role here at Rio is that um, I'm with the Department of Public Safety here, Rio Salado, and I see flexibility in two ways. I'm, all, I'm a student myself, and flexibility really mattered to me because I'm a father and a husband, and I have my 40-hour job that I have to take care of, and so being able to go to class in my office whatever time of the day that I needed to do that, and if I wanted to go in my socks, I can go in my socks, and I just, it was that ability to fit it into my life, my busy life already that was, was really important. The innovation of our Monday start dates really helps with the flexibility uh, for students. Um, actually, I just had an experience where a student, um, her financial aid isn't complete, so she missed the start date for one of our sister schools, and um, the next best option for her is uh, taking online courses with our Monday start, so she really liked that fact, and now we're able to service her. I work in the partnerships department at Rio Salado College, so I see students all the time in my job face to face. And it doesn't get more personal than that. And when I see a student who's given up on their education or who's been discouraged, and I get to be the one to share with them that they 
that they can do it, that I get to help motivate and encourage them. That moment when I see the light in their eyes and I see the hope that they have that they can accomplish their goals, that moment makes it worth everything what I do. Customer service is important because it's the one thing you can deliver to anybody you, you come in contact with. Um, it's the one thing that I can give to a student, I can give to somebody that I work with here. Um, it's the one thing that kind of emulates what I do and everything that I do. As a location representative, I have been working with highly diverse populations and it has been an invigorating experience. At one point, I taught a class of 15 students from 14 different countries and seeing the world represented in your classroom is motivating. Students thrive and succeed in such environments. Critical thinking skills advance, uh, the safety of the learning environment uh, is cherished, and uh, unique perspectives get shared. And for me, this is what diversity stands for. Information Services' role is to work collaboratively across departments, listen to their needs, find effective and efficient technological solutions that support and enhance student learning. Innovation, especially with the Academic Affairs team, is really, um, it can be technology that we use, either with our learning system or um, predictive analytics. It is our new innovative teaching practices that we constantly try to provide for students. And then it can even be wraparound services. So it's innovation that really allows us to reinvent the learning experience. When we begin uh, focusing on professionalism, it's, I, I believe it's a key value, um, especially at Rio, in everything that we do, both with our, key, our, our internal and our external customers. And it's a concerted effort by everybody to bring their uh, highest level and ability to every day, to everything that they do. And when we're able to present a level of professionalism, whether that's in our dress or our communication with people, I believe that impacts our students' desire to want to be a part of our program, but it also models for them workplace skills that they can take out um, into their own employment, into their own family and their own lives. We have a very technologically savvy and um, creative team, and they've made a lot of improvements in the processes to help quicken the um, production process. And the faster and more accurately we can produce courses gives a better experience for students and faculty. Sustainability is obviously very near and dear to my heart. A Greek proverb says that a society grows great when old women and men plant trees whose shade they know they shall never sit in. In the same vein, our students are successful because they engage in sustainable practices by putting them into action as they spend time learning in the garden and cafe, regardless of whether they themselves will reap the immediate rewards of planting that tomato or composting those kitchen scraps. I am of English and reading department. I am the instructional coordinator. So there are a lot of uh, teamwork involved. Example of teamwork, when a student uh, submit a complaint, uh, maybe uh, drop from a class, we immediately contact student services and then get a response and then immediately resolve the problem. So it is a constant collaboration with student services, it's a constant communication with, with the adjunct faculty and uh, with the student uh, faculty services, so it is a con continuous process of teamwork involving everybody. We reinvent the learning experience to change lives. We transform learning through active community engagement and organizational responsiveness, customized high quality courses and programs, data analytics, and institutional accountability. Flexibility, affordability, and innovation. Personalized service and a commitment to student success. As an institution of higher learning, we value customer focus, diversity, inclusiveness, innovation, professionalism, relentless improvement, sustainability, and teamwork. <laughs>